it's onion harvest time on our no dig no till homestead we're back so we've been a little quiet for this past week um, our day jobs taken over and um, following the last 18 months with the pandemic it's, it's pretty welcome yeah we're, we're super happy um, so for all our new viewers I'm Julie this is Ian and we're setting up our own little homestead here in the French Pyrenees where we live and also on top of that we're um, planning and building a off-grid container home um, it's in the progress of planning at the moment, but hopefully by this year we'll start breaking ground. And uh, sorry about the hat, but Julie gave me um, another haircut. So <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm, I'm hiding it a bit, but it's beautiful weather here today. Onions. We are going to harvest our first ever onions. Yeah. I'm going to make a rack to put them in so they're dry. And, um, and that's going to be underneath the compost bins where we've got a roof, plenty of airflow and um, yeah, that's what we're going to do and also we've got to tidy this place up as we said, we're, we've been away a week we come back and the place is overgrown so... Uh, it's just on ballistic ugh. Yeah. We've had rain, hot, it's been 40 degrees one day and then it's rained 10 degrees the next day and that's been alternating so for the garden it's perfect but when you're away from the garden, you come back to a nightmare. So, it's, let's get on with it. It's super lush, so we'll show you. Here it goes, I'm gonna pull my first onion. I think they're ready to take out, they've all flopped over. Let's have a look. Okay, let's see what we've got. They sound crunchy. Ooh, not much resistance. That looks a nice onion. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. Look, wait, well, it looks like what you get in the shops in the bags. <laughs> this will keep me busy this afternoon. I'll pull all my onions, line them in my basket, and then when Ian's finished making his rack, we'll hang them to dry them ready for storing for winter. We're uh, starting to get a bit of a mole problem here. Anybody has any tips about getting rid of moles, please leave it in the comments below. Oh, they didn't grow very big. I think they'll be my pickling onions. These few I'm pulling out, I planted in groups of four, just as an experiment, but yeah, they haven't done anything. Well, we've got quite a few white. Now Julie is doing all the red. I'm just collecting my red onions. Got these with these. There are a few casualties as well. <laughs> yeah, there, there is. That's <laughs> also another casualty, my, uh, my small towel that I used to uh, mop my brow fell off the chair of the lawnmower straight under and straight out the back. We 
we also try and use the um, all the grass from our garden back at our house so we bring that along as well to uh, compost as much as we can we do leave a bit in the garden for the chickens so they have their own compost heap and they're uh, tranching it around but um, there's just too much for them They'll, uh, so we uh, stick it over here Well, our butternut squash is going a little wild, coming all the way down the back of the uh, compost bins and also into the sheep field. So I'm going to get on with my rack for the onions now. So uh, all of this is just scrap decking wood and uh, I've ripped it down in half and then cut it to length so they're all the same. So my plan is to hang the, these two across there and then with the little ones screw them onto the top onion size so the onions will basically hang through with their uh, green bits dangling down um, it's all under cover really nice lots of um, lots of wind as I said earlier on so um, I'm hoping they'll dry out quite nicely I've got my square so I'm just going to square it up just because it makes it easier having everything square and, and parallel but realistically this is just to dry some onions so uh, hopefully if it's good enough I'll be able to use it next year Once I've got the first one, I'm just using a little spacer here. Hopefully that is onion size. I'll get Julie to uh, grab one in a minute and we can try it before I carry on. Just put one screw in. Are they a bit heavy? There's a few kilo here, these are just the white ones right? Yeah I've got the same, uh, nearing the same again with the red onions. So we have to do it quite small because there's a few small ones but let's, uh, oh, let's go for an average size. Let's have a look, what have you got? Yeah. Plan is just to have them like that. Ah, that works well. I'm going to do it at that spacing. Just one screw now. Nice and simple. feeding the whole stem through here but it's a bit time consuming so I've decided if I just chop the top bit off like so oops okay. and the compost two jobs done in one oh that works much better 
I'm a happy Judy now. We seem to have run out of space um, on the rack with all the white onions so for my red onions we're going to just put string around them in bunches and we're going to hang them to dry for now. Right, that last one? Yeah, last, last few. Well, we actually get to spend today on our own, just the two of us, and it's our 33rd wedding anniversary. So it's the only way to spend it, isn't it? <laughs> Let's pick on onions. Harvesting onions. <laughs> We're so romantic. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit warm in here today, but um, I haven't actually put the doors, installed the doors, doors yet. Uh, we will do that for the winter. But if you've been following us for a while, we finished this polytunnel at the end of May. So basically nothing was growing in here until sort of the 1st of June. So two months or two and a half months because it's mid-August and it is a jungle. A jungle. It's, I wish it was smelly cam because these tomatoes, they just smell so beautiful. The size of these beef tomatoes are just incredible. We are now starting to see red within the green. But below, oh, yeah. we've been doing uh, all the lettuces. Yeah, and here, salad. Here we've got celery. We've just planted three celery just to try and that has come up perfect. There's another one just here. But the um, lettuces are just... Fantastic. And all I'm doing is I just... Every night I come in, I, a selection of leaves from the bottom. Uh, in between the tomatoes and the lettuce, I've been planting beetroot. So I've got red beetroot. And on the other side, I've planted some other beetroot, which um, when you cut them in half, they look like rings, white and pink. They're pretty. These are the yellow pear drop cherry tomatoes little red lettuces that we only planted a couple of weeks ago so we're going to start pulling these bigger lettuces out now um, before they start uh, bolting and uh, we'll uh, replenish those with uh, smaller starters we just get from the market. Well, there's a good selection of um, lettuce and at the end I planted a couple of um, pepper plants and look at these beauties I don't know when a pepper turns red yellow but we have some rather large green peppers. So all down the side of this way. Right, the first three plants are aubergines. I've never grown an aubergine, so we're just testing with a few, few of those. And then these, the whole row here now, are just pure pepper plants. These are a different type of pepper. They're the long teardrop ones. They're nice for the barbecue. Look at this bunch of cucumbers. Wow. Just outside the polytunnel, um, I bought two fig trees from the local supermarket and they're the, the purple figs. Um, we've put them in these big containers because as soon as the um, plot of land that we're buying for the container house project is officially ours, we're planting these on the land. And where's Julie gone? Ha ha ha! I'm in the sweet corn! Oh, they're so big! Oh, it's just ridiculous size. <laughs> These. And these, all of this here, these are our two latest beds that we created. They're not very old at all. Um, we put some beans, French dwarf runner beans, and we found we've actually got our first beans. Look at these, they're lovely. And further along, for some reason, these don't seem to be doing so well in this little section. Yeah, there's a no tiny more. patch where the, uh, yeah. the compost we put down because the beans have been affected yeah. as well as the, uh, the sweet corn. The sweet corn, yeah. yeah. It's all stunned. Now, this was the first brassicas we've ever planted, and they did have the nets over. 
Um, we didn't know what was happening to them. I just thought it was rain skull, but we've since learnt what flea beetle is, a tiny little black beetle. The nets are doing a good job at keeping the cabbage butterfly away. As you can see, there's one right on cue. So these are our new brassicas that we planted second plant after the potatoes which came out a couple of weeks ago and our broccoli seems to have gone ballistic as well so everyone's got a good head on them that's a nice little head coming they're just starting to come through so we'll get these uh, picked and put in the freezer and there's our sprouts yeah our first sprouts for christmas uh, coming away from the brassicas We've um, seeded um, carrots, our carrots are growing. These are all leeks that I've grown from seed. And I have more leeks this side. My carrots are doing really well there. And a couple of weeks ago, after we finished um, harvesting all the potatoes, we planted lots of um, carrot seeds and nothing seems to be happening. And this bed, this is where you saw me earlier harvesting all the onions. Um, and bear in mind, this is all compost and no dig. And it was just pure horse field at the start of this year. Not much has actually, not many weeds have actually come through. So when you saw me um, cutting the grass, you probably couldn't see any difference between the weeds and all these butternut squash so we've got a mixture of butternut squash and courgettes in here but it's just getting overwhelming yet again the raspberries are so juicy and tasty but I really don't have enough plants to uh, keep my freezer supplied so it's my naughty treat so that is all our onion harvest done and a quick guided tour of all the produce that's growing um, on the homestead in August. And if you enjoy watching our videos, give us a little thumbs up and click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks yep. for watching. See you later. Bye. 33 years. <laughs> oh. And more suffering to come. He looks me weird. Onions, onions, anyone, onions?